Learning to love and live in his skin. That is what one seventh grader with vitiligo has done after years of bullying. He has the rare and mysterious skin disorder that causes him to lose pigment. That's right. His name is Seven, which is super cool to me. And he's next on What's Up South Texas, a segment where we highlight unique stories in our community. I introduce you to Seven's story and how he's on a mission to educate and inspire others with his skin. Like, bullying is not right to do it to anyone. This is 12-year-old Seven Sweats. You see here, he's an active and happy young man. <laughs> but because of a rare skin disorder called vitiligo, where skin starts to lose color, his life has had a very rocky start. His first spot appeared when he was three. We didn't think anything of it. As he got older, he started to get more. It started to affect him more in his life. My hardest part is like, um, like getting into elementary school more. They wouldn't say nothing. They would just give me like give me ugly looks. Ugly looks turned into bullying. Like, I used to just cover wear jackets everywhere I go. Everything led just like just to go out, get it out of my way so people would look at me. The CDC says the cause of vitiligo is still a mystery. Seven's mother, Selena Allen, says stress added to her son's changing skin color. Fourth and fifth grade year is when his vitiligo went crazy. He was so stressed out at school because kids were being mean to him. So, but never wanted to come home and tell mom never got out of his room, just was just to himself. But Seven had enough when he was in the fifth grade. He got into a fight. Because people were picking on him, he just was getting, he was getting angry. Selena, heartbroken at her son's reality. Crying in the shower, crying in the bathroom, dropping him off, crying on the way home. <laughs> just thinking, you know what I mean? It's a horrible experience for the little boy to go through. But that fight set into motion changes to Seven's life. He soon realized that he wasn't the only one with a skin disorder after attending a vitiligo support and awareness conference in Houston. When we got back from the conference, he said, Mom, I don't want my vitiligo to go away anymore. I said, all right. <laughs> they say the biggest blessing was attending Cornerstone Christian School, which encouraged him to not only be comfortable in his skin, but inspired him to be baptized. It means a lot because then people will know I have God in my life to help me through everything I have. He's even been presented with many opportunities, like modeling. I'm really like just a sports person. I'm not <laughs> really into that. Now with confidence, Seven and his mother want to inspire others living with vitiligo to love yourself for who you are. And that's a beautiful message for What's Up South Texas. To remind your child that we are all different in this world. God made us all different. And to truly put God in your child's life. Definitely a beautiful young man. Now, Seven's next goal is to take what he's learned in Houston during that support and awareness group and create a vitiligo support and awareness group here in San Antonio. His mom, who has done extensive research and lived the part, wants to empower adults while he empowers the youth. Certainly seems like he has the right attitude. And oh, attitude yes. is what you need. It was like one of the funniest statements that he said to me. He was just like, hey, when I, back then when people would talk about me and stare, you know, yeah. I, I would it would break me down. But now I want them to stare. It's a compliment when they have something to say about it. So I was like, go ahead, right on, brother. Tough kid. All right. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jeff.